everybody. Welcome to Friday Before Labor Day. The White House is bracing for the release of a book that will pull back the curtain on President Biden's first two years in office, detailing the backroom talks and challenges he has faced so far this term. The last politician inside Joe Biden's White House and the struggle for America's future is out next week. It is written by Atlantic staff writer Franklin Four, who conducted nearly 300 interviews for the book. It gives us the first inside account of Biden's thoughts and decisions on the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, Russia's war in Ukraine, and political drama on Capitol Hill. News Nation's Kelly Meyer is live for us from Washington. Kelly, you got your hands on one of the early copies. Would you? It's got a lot in there, doesn't it? A lot, uh, more than 400 pages in there. And uh, our team obtained a copy of this highly anticipated book and combing through this all day. Of course, it's all the chatter here in Washington. And it's really putting White House staff on alert as to what might be inside. News Nation obtaining a copy of the more than 400-page book, The Last Politician Inside Joe Biden's White House and the Struggle for America's Future, before its launch on Tuesday. Inside, it details everything from the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan to Biden expressing he sometimes feels tired as criticism around his age grows while he runs for a second term. An excerpt obtained by News Nation reading, quote, it was striking that he took so few morning meetings or presided over so few public events before 10 a.m. His public persona reflected physical decline and times dulling of mental facilities that no pill or exercise regime can resist. This week, the White House responding. The book is suggesting the president tells age he's tired. But that's in the excerpt, right? Yeah, and that that's why there have been so few public events before 10 a.m. I mean, that's a ridiculous assumption to make. I mean, that's a ridiculous assumption to, to make. This comes as President Biden has faced mounting criticism from lawmakers and Gold Star families about his decision to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. The book, quoting, Biden didn't have to voraciously consume the news, but he was well aware of the coverage and it infuriated him. It did little to change his mind, though. The book giving an inside look into big moments for President Biden, like his speech in Warsaw, when he said Russian leader Vladimir Putin cannot remain in power, appearing to call for regime change. It details the moments after the ad lib where instead of focusing on his historic speech, the headlines were about White House staff walking back Biden's off-the-cuff comments. An excerpt reading, quote, rather than owning his failure, he fumed to his friends about how he was treated like a toddler. Was John Kennedy ever babied like that? This book dropping as the president is actively campaigning for another shot at the White House, with new polling showing roughly 40 percent approve of Biden's performance so far and 54 percent disapprove. Now, we reached out to the White House, and they are pushing back on the excerpts of this book, uh, telling News Nation that those excerpts are, quote, cherry-picked. They also say that allies view President Biden as, quote, the West father figure and a calming presence. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.